Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone. So I wanted to do a nightly reading as we are 24 hours out from our new moon in Virgo. So Virgo full moon, I am saying full moon, Virgo new moon um, happening on September 14th, right? So it's going to be in the evening, but let's see what is going on with these energies, right? Look at this devil the first card out let me move this down a little bit where i can show you guys the spread yeah this devil's been coming out very strong right a lot of karmic contracts and cycles are definitely closing out so devil is definitely playing a lot of games a lot of strongholds a lot of tests things like that a lot of karmic cycles are closing out too karmic relationships situations and you know it's a beautiful thing because they are closing out like literally like right on time like in time i should say because new moons are about setting your attentions right and your new cycles so if you don't want to go through another cycle with the devil then now's time to definitely release it not bring it with you with this new moon so for some of you they're showing the strength card here you recently got into your power and into your strength right standing out to this devil not being controlled by it yeah Trusting your intuition. High Priestess is coming out. So you could have went through a higher level of ascensions, but what it looks like is you definitely created boundaries. With the Seven of Wands, you see her in a bubble there. Like, look, all those wands aren't going to touch her. So I'm getting that. You rose above the tactics that were going on with this devil, right? As the devil tries to manipulate her and control through fear and worry and money and things like that. Yeah, so uh, you guys could be isolating right now or um, just spending some time alone with the Hermit energy. But um, she's elevated. I just realized that, like sitting on nothing. So I'm really getting this, like, you've raised your vibration high. Yeah, you fully have let go of the past. See how she's fully let go of that wand? Like, she's not even looking at that wand anymore. A lot of times the two of wands you see were there holding on to one that's bolted or secured to something, not wanting to let it go or trying to <laughs> bring both wands forward. No, she's fully detached from the wand back here and she's looking at the new wand next to the world. And um, she's got a picture of what a bus with a surfboard. Yeah, she want to go have some fun. <laughs> I feel her. That's what I'm ready to go do. Go have some fun. <laughs> look, here's the chariot here. And look at the duality of these horses. The white and the black. That's very beautiful. And he's on top. Taking charge and control of your life. That chariot is moving fast. There's fast movement. King of Wands. Somebody could be connecting with the King of Wands figure. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be though. And here we go. Here's King of Swords. Yeah, you could be closing out a cycle with the King of Swords. You guys could have went through a lot of poverty um, or lack, problems with money, resources, losing things. Um, you know, this King of Swords has been coming out very strong. Um, this was just on the bottom of the deck, but see, there's those cycles closing out. For some of you, like, your, your finances needed to be depleted. You needed to go through some sort of loss. But what I'm getting for you is it's temporarily... There's the hanged man where you're needing to release, surrender, let go. It's really out of your control. Um, but the Seven of Pentacles, this has been a long time coming. Something needed to be released and surrendered. It's not in alignment with your with your path, right? So it could be like a, um, a, a universal kind of intervention. Four of Swords. But you're in this healing energy because you're needing to heal at this time. So I'm getting your right in between worlds, right? Like you could literally be in this Nine of Swords right now where you're stressed, worried. Things may feel as though they're a nightmare because, you know, a lot of times as these things are happening, that's what we feel. But look what's on the bottom, Sun with Justice. So for you guys, like somebody was putting you in this Nine of Swords and it wasn't fair. Maybe it was a karmic cycle, but it was outdated. You were in, you were receiving some sort of karma that you had no business to continue to be um, receiving. You're, you're not supposed to be on this timeline. You've outgrown it, but maybe a movement needed to happen. Sometimes people can keep you trapped and stuck in timelines that aren't for you. But see with the tower here, that's universal energies. When I see like the sun and the sun, the moon, the star, all those major, um, cosmic cards, 
for me, when I see them by justice, judgment, or the tower, it's always like divine intervention for me. So this is what I'm getting. Um, that divine, that this is this tower that is coming. It's a good tower. It's next to the sun. Best card of the deck. So it's like, it doesn't seem this way now, but it's like a tower had to come crashing down for you to get your divine justice. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So it may not look that way now, but you, that's why you're here to find out, right? <laughs> so yeah, that page of wands came right back out, right? I just missed her before, but she's there. So there's an exciting, passionate beginning, coming together with others, um... This is exciting. Look, three of pentacles. What? Ace of cups. This is, um, this is like friends. It's new love here. Wow. You got two aces. Really three. I just realized I've been seeing three, three, three. You know, there's a big frequency with threes. I was looking up the threes today. Um, there's, there's codings that unlock certain things, frequencies of numbers. I found myself in a healing the other night. That was a series of numbers that was going through and unlocking things. So there's something to do with threes. Um, you know, and I've been realizing I'm starting to do things in 369. The like keys of the universe, right? And, and it's all about frequency and vibration. There's something about threes. So I just got focusing on that. Because look, three of pentacles. And I just told you we had three aces. Ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of pentacles. So 33, which is also a master angel number. You could be seeing something about threes. Okay, <laughs> that came out very fast. All right, as the channeled messages, I often do deliver fast so that way I don't forget them. It's a lot of times they give me multiple, multiple things that come through, and I'm still trying to focus on on the spread too, right? Okay, so and now I completely lost where I am. So I'm gonna look at the cards here, and then we're gonna get clarifiers out on each of these and find out a little bit more of the story. If you don't feel like it's fitting for you, leave any part out because. You know, these are collective readings, so I could be going off your storyline and then going off somebody else's. All right. So, somebody was definitely being, like, manipulated or controlled or puppeteered by this devil. I'm getting that more than more than anything. But for some of you, it could be, like, an addiction um, or, like, a toxicity. Really, too much of anything can be addictive, you know, or toxic, I mean. But let's clarify this devil. Mm. All these came out reversed. Ace of Wands, Five of Swords. So uh, somebody was... Yeah. Hmm. Somebody was losing, like, sex, right? Like, sex magic was definitely a thing. Th this was, like, a very... Um, Am I hearing, like, alluring, like, um, somebody could have, like, um, it's not even like to call all of that, because, like I said, it's general, but there was something to do with, um, this was just very controlling, the, the, this person was, um, definitely manipulating somebody with, like, sex, the, I mean, I, there's no way to sugarcoat it other than that. Um, they could have addictions because I am feeling that somebody has some sort of addictions. And sometimes people, when they're when they have trauma and they get caught up running at a lower vibrational chakras, to them that is a love, right? So they fiend for it. They need it. I don't know how else. To <laughs> so sometimes like the reading reading will be fine or even beautiful and then it goes to hell when I clarify <laughs> that's why it's funny as I told you to take it uh, however but okay anyways aside from that I want to get away from that energy you just don't like it somebody ugh, like I'm getting like demonic energy like uh, succubus incubus stuff like it could have been sent your way it could have been like within your bloodlines somebody was like just definitely like ugh, i want to get out of that energy what's over here is the emperor and the ten of pentacles that's why you yeah i was gonna say you have justice coming in for this because you don't think that the divine seen this they did so justice is coming in for you maybe it was supposed to break you free right my my platform is for the chosen the one for four hundred and 
144,000 bright stars, seeds, light workers, earth angels. And you guys know you're always being under attack. The enemy, you know, is trying to take you out and stop you. So it doesn't surprise me that they would send in demonic entities and succubuses and incubuses and all of that stuff. And um, what's the other one? Because, you know, the, the, those are non-physical, but they embody people's energy. The, um, the Jezebel spirit. And that can be in a male, too. I was personally dealing with the Jezebel that was in a male. So that can very much be a thing. But that's what I'm getting here. So they were really manipulating and controlling you, stealing your energy, your life force, messing with your intuition, messing with your sacral, solar plexus, chakra, your creative energy. That might be also why they had a control of your finances, that you were having trouble if you were trying to like create, build stuff, start up a business. Your life force, your passions, your desires were just all being diminished and depleted. Enough is enough, right? So divine intervention, right? So for some of you, like, you cleared this out right before. So Emperor Ten of Pentacles, this is your justice that's been trying to come in for you. And I can't make it up. Right underneath it is justice in the wheel with Six of Pentacles, which you know is the fairness and the equality and the equal give and take. That's what I told you. This is what's been trying to come in for you. Spirit's been trying to guide you there. If you look at these birds, look at them literally. Those birds are pulling that boat. Spirit has been trying to guide you to, to make movements of ways. So you could have intuitively been feeling like if this is somebody you're, you're connecting with, like you'll know who this is right away. Don't be like going like, oh my gosh, well, who is this to me? Like, well, clearly, unless you have multiple partners, which you're just asking for entities if you're doing that. But anyways, um, like you'll know if this person is in life or not, right? So look at them, spirit, trying to tell you right very loud you could be noticing like a lot of um birds like literally like i gotta tell you guys what happened today i'm gonna kid you not freak me out still kind of is because i've just never had this happen in my life or like i'm sure it happens but to just like i've never like seen a video on it or heard anybody talk about it or physically see it but literally so with my son we were walking and we were walking underneath some trees and then all of a sudden we heard like a scuffle or I know I heard the scuffle of like the of the tree branches but all of a sudden we heard like a pop and he, and my son goes oh my god oh my god and I was like what and I turn around and we look up and it was a pretty tall tree and he says oh I watched a squirrel just fall out of that tree and he mom he landed flat on his belly he told me that smack that we heard was him hitting his belly on the ground and I was like, oh my God, no, you didn't. But literally, like, this girl jumped up and then took off. He was more, like, scared um, of what happened. So I'm, I'm glad he was okay. But, like, it was a really big fault. But I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know how to take an omen like that. When I looked it up, it didn't look so good. But even <laughs> sometimes, like, even the ones that have, like, a bad omen behind them, like, death, birth, I mean, it could be that there's a major ending closing out i don't know how to take that i i'm still trying to process that a little bit but i'm just getting like you're going to be seeing like a lot of things um trying to get your attention like lily was getting my attention but i can't get over the fact too like i didn't see it i was like i didn't see it i heard it but i didn't see it you know like sometimes you hear a car crash you know and just like but you don't I don't know what I'm saying this. Like, I think that, like, somebody's going to be getting karma, but I'm getting shielded from it. Uh, that That's just kind of the intention that I got, but it was okay. Or somebody's, like, trying to make me fall flat, down, very vulnerable, but it's not going to work. I don't know. So I felt to bring it out in this reading because I just can't get over these birds and how they're causing a bunch of noise and sound and chaos like they're trying to stir up they're trying to warn you of something because for a lot of you you are shamans as well and you have shamanistic healing abilities i literally have healing hands that can heal animals and people <laughs> i don't often tell people that but i'm telling you in this reading because you know it's i feel safe here my channel is safe right and you know the ones that get guided here are going to be you know, you guys are going to be waking into these abilities and gifts too, right? 
as a moist shower. So a lot of times you learn through through me, right? But yeah, somebody definitely has like their heart chakra activated now. If you look at this King of Cups, I don't know how much I can zoom in, but he is fully illuminated around his, where's my camera? I'm always moving it. Around his head and his heart. He's glowing gold. So I'm getting that recently there's been this major realization, ascension, and it's like you're realizing your power, your potential, and you're starting, like the universe I'm getting is responding to you. And like she's just walking straight to the sun back here. Like she's walking away. She's leaving something. Um, it looks like a flower in a bowl there. I wish I had the book on this where I could get more of interpretation of, of, of the creator. Uh, I love to get there sometimes with the jacks. Close to my hold on, let me get some water. Alright. So um somebody's definitely giving up on something. For sure. Okay. I'm and um, I just realized eight eight something big with the Lionsgate portal. This is where I'm getting this major ascension happen for you, and Lionsgate eight eight right. So the beginning of August and it runs. I say through Leo season. So you know where we're at now. We're in Virgo season. So something big happened, and I can't even say that too because for some of you, literally, this could be happening right now because the energies come through Lionsgate, right? And the energy goes within you, but sometimes certain traumas can block these ascensions from happening. It's like an integration has to happen after a release. And we've been in the series of four super moons. We have one more to go, and a lot of trauma is coming out. So as trauma comes out, then the activations can happen. You can get triggered during my readings as well because I was told my readings, sometimes the synchronicity of the series of cards that you see to my to my voice to sometimes I put on healing frequencies and the cards have sacred geometry and things like that can trigger you and activate you. Sometimes it's a series of words, things like that. So I've been told that my readings can very much activate things within you. So you could literally be noticing something right after a reading that all of a sudden you went through an ascension, awakening, a realization, an unlocking, if you would, of some gifts and abilities is that it's meant to do, right? So, um, wow, I just put away two of the cards. So, um, oh my gosh, I don't remember what they were now. <laughs> okay. No, the hermit was there. I don't often do that. It's like I just erased your past and your karma <laughs> because I just picked them up. That's my recent past position and the karma position. But like I told you, you guys already have good karma coming in. I've already told you that. So, yeah, you've put in the work here. Eight of pentacles, two of pentacles. You just you have to make a decision because of free will. So you're at this place where now you get to decide because it's basically like, are you going to go back to this old life? Are you going to choose this new life? Right? Because you can't stay where you were at. Nine of cups. There's this love offer coming in. It's your ten of cups. You've manifested this in. Yeah, look, two of cups. It's true love. This is definitely a soulmate. This is equal. This is because you loved yourself and you started to be in that vibration of what you desire, what you deserve. That's exactly what you're attracting in. So, um, yeah, this higher level of ascension closed out. There's the confirmation at Ace of Swords. You've had all four aces out now because this is the last ace that we hadn't seen yet. So all four aces are here. So see this five of wands, this conflict, competition that was going on. And you've outshined it. <laughs> you have. You have outshined it. You've been in this beautiful nine of pentacles energy. That's minor empress energy. That's, you know, loving yourself, focusing on you. Um, being secure and stable. This is ultimately what somebody needed to do was to get into this nine of pentacles energy. And as soon as you do, 
you're getting matching vibrational frequencies that you're going to be walking away with with the three of cups celebrating having a good time with friends we've got three nights here oh my gosh guys i can't make this stuff up look at the the series of threes told you threes are very significant we have three knights knight of swords knight of pentacles and the knight of wands and we already have the knight of cups out so you got four knights too so you've had all the aces and all the knights oh my gosh i'm done <laughs> But am I, but am I done? Oh my gosh, this is an amazing reading. It's so powerful. And synchronistic things often are letting you know you're going through a major portal gateway activation upgrade. However you want to look at it, when you're seeing multiple synchronicities, that's literally what's happening. So yeah, that's very beautiful. You guys, this is epic. So whatever is falling apart, it's because it's not in alignment with you anymore. So let it fall off. Um, be excited for this um, new moon energy. You're a magician. I don't need to tell you how to manifest, how to create whatever you want because you're doing it. So um, the only thing I can say is just a lot of times it's complacency that we hold on to things, familiarity, because a lot of times going into our brains have been triggered and trained so much to constantly be on a repetitive cycle and constantly thinking about what we know instead of planning what we want and then being in the present moment so just focus on being in the present moment and um the universe is co-creating with you you got people coming in so yeah it just it, it looks really excited look there's the magician like i said you know what you're doing this is beautiful yeah you're manifesting your tent i <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's magical. All right, guys. Well, that's the reading that I had for you for this one. Love and light to all of you. Definitely like, share, subscribe. You know the more you watch me, the more I feel your energy and you can come out in these collective readings. Always interact with me. Um, liking the videos, you know, does an energetic donation. So does commenting because it sends me love and light and energy. So know that. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.